at every turn what is the total weight on the bus you can get that why hey guys welcome back to our channel on this channel we try to learn various concepts of data science by practicing a lot of questions this video is in continuation of the sql 50 crack sql interview in 50 question series where we are trying to learn hands-on sql using 50 carefully curated co questions covering diverse aspects of sql so we are already done with the select basic joins basic aggregate functions as well as sorting and grouping we are currently working on advanced select and joins we'll be moving to sub queries and finally ending with advanced string functions regex and clauses in this video we are going to solve this question called last person to fit in the bus and try to learn from so yeah let's jump right in so this is the 35th video of the series called last person to fit in the bus and if i look at the companies this question has been asked in so amazon and way for a number of times so let's look at what the question has to say we are given a table called q with four different columns person id person name weight and turn person name is a variable character data type and remaining three are integer data types person id column contains unique values this table has the information about all people waiting for a bus the person id and the turn columns will contain in all the numbers from 1 to n where n is the number of rows in the table okay the turn determines the order of which the people will board the bus that is where turn is equal to 1 denotes the first person to board and turn is equal to n denotes the last person to bid weight is the weight of the person in kilograms there is a queue of people waiting to board a bus however the bus has a weight limit of 1000 kilograms so there may be some people who cannot board we are asked to write a solution to find the person name of the last person that can fit on the bus without exceeding the weight limit. The test cases are generated such that the first person does not exceed the weight limit. Okay, let's look at this example. So here we have certain people, their turns, weights, names, etc. Now, we cannot exceed the total weight limit of 1000 kg. So first person to board the bus is turn equal to 1 the weight is 250 then the second person would be alex and the weight is 350 so up till this moment the total weight on the bus is 250 plus 350 that is 600 then turn number three is this john cena whose weight is 400 so 600 plus 400 is 1000 and 1000 means your weight limit is reached so the last person to board this bus is without exceeding the 1000 kg li weight limit is john cena and that is what we have in our output so in this question we need to calculate the running total that means that at a particular moment what is the weight on a bus and for these type of questions window functions come in very handy but we will try to solve this question using a self join and how we can even calculate running totals using points as well okay let me switch to excel so that we can develop a query so this same table i have copied it here in the excel sheet but just arranged by turn in ascending order so that it is easier for me to understand okay so think about it how can we get the name of the last person who can board the bus without exceeding the weight limit so when the person with turn equal to one hops on the bus the weight of the bus is now 250 kgs now so basically this is what we have now when you go to turn equal to two then what is that weight of on the bus you have basically so this one so 250 plus 350 is what we have in, on the bus now when you, once you go to turn equal to 3 what is the total weight on this bus 250 plus 350 plus 400 so this is what so you see there is a pattern here at turn equal to 1 it was just one row at turn equal to 2 to get the sum you have to 250 plus 350 then turn equal to 3 you have to take the, all the three rows in this that is why to calculate running totals window functions are such a great tool but let's see how we can achieve the same thing using a self join so let me just copy this you know copy this part again here so that it's easier for me to explain uh paste it here and uh, let's say this is again the same table q uh, and then just let's say this is version q1 and this is version q2 okay now if you think about it whenever you are at a particular turn you need to have the value of that particular turn and anyone who came before that so at turn equal to one what is the total weight on the bus 250 and since there was no one before it so 250 but when you go to turn equal to two you need to have the weight of the person whose turn was two plus whose turn was 1 that is 350 plus 250 when you go to turn equal to 3 you need to have the weight of the person whose turn was 3 but also turn 2 as well as turn 1 so you see we need to get 
all the people who had the turn equal to or less than that part. So, what if I go ahead and write this? Can I write this? So, from this table called Q, let's alias this as Q1 version. So, Q1 left join the same table and this is what we call a self joins Q version Q2 on Q1 dot turn is greater than equal to Q2 dot turn. Okay, let's see what will this do. So here we have Q1 and Q2 version. So here we will be having, okay, let me just, you know, uh, have these so that we are able to populate these as well. So it would be easier for us to understand. Okay, so Q1 dot turn should be greater than equal to Q2 dot turn. And that is where we are performing a join. Okay, so if I start with Q1 dot turn is equal to 1 and 1 is greater than or equal to only 1. So for the first row we will be having, so this one comes from Q1 is populated here and this row is coming from Q2 and it is going to be populated here. Now move to turn equal to 2. So turn equal to 2, firstly it will say, okay, 2 is greater than 1 and 2 is equal to 2. So it will have two rows. Firstly, this row where this will come here and again here. The first one will be having this row because 2 is greater than 1. And then the second row would be this one, which is 2 is equal to 2 and so on. Let me just populate the entire thing and come back. So this is what it will look like. I have colored these. So for turn equal to one, this is the only row that we are, we are going to have. Turn equal to two, we are going to have two people. The turn equal to two as well as turn equal to one part. Then for turn equal to three, three rows and so on. So we have all this. Okay. Now, once we are doing this, then we need to do that at a particular turn, what is the total weight? So if you think about it, if you group by this Q1 dot turn, and sum the q2 dot weight part at every turn what is the total weight on the bus you can get that why because if you do q1 dot group by q1 dot turn so at turn equal to 1 what is the total sum 250 at turn equal to 2 what is the total sum 250 plus 350 at turn equal to 3 250 plus 350 plus 400 and so on so you see you are able to calculate a running total using a self joint so what i'm doing is let's do group by so group by q1 dot turn and then return q1 dot turn and then sum the q2 dot weight part and let me alias this as running weight so running weight okay let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we have in our output so if we look at it so at turn equal to 1, 250, turn equal to 2, 250 plus 350, that is 600, 1000 and so on. Okay, so we have at a particular turn, what is the total weight on a bus? Once we have this, then we are only interested because the weight limit is 1000. So after 1000, whatever the weight comes out to be, we are we do not care about that. You see, this is the case of filtering using a aggregate value. So here your running weight should be less than or equal to 1000. How can we do that? We can, after group by, we can do use the having clause. So having the sum of Q2 dot weight less than equal to 1000. Okay, we are only interested in up to that turn where your weight is not exceeding the weight limit of the bus. So if I go ahead on our output, so here now you have turn equal to 1, 250, turn equal to 2, 600 and turn equal to 3 1000 now once you know that okay these are the three turns until when your running weight is less than equal to your limit then how can we find out okay at what turn our weight was less than or equal to 1000 if you just simply rearrange this in descending order by running weight then the first line is basically the last turn of the person who actually can fit on the bus without exceeding the weight limit so if i do this thing order by so order by sum of q2 dot weight so this part copy this paste it here and in decreasing manner so if i go ahead and run this let's see what do we have in our output so here we have 
okay so this is the last turn where you are not going to exceed the weight limit okay so once we have this then we need the la in the question we need the last person who can fit on the bus so if i just do limit equal to one because we only need the last person right so limit is equal to one that is going to give me so limit is equal limit one and then run so this is going to give me the turn of the last person where we are not exceeding the weight limit now we are only concerned about the turn part so let me just remove this running weight it was for explanation purposes so now here from this query we get the turn of the last person who can fit on the bus without exceeding the weight limit but in our output we do not need the last turn we need the person name of the last person okay so we can simply go ahead and perform a filter that is this entire thing will return you the last turn where you are not going to exceed the weight limit and then associated with that would be a person name so from this table called q we are only required to keep those rows where your turn is equal to whatever turn value we got from this and you simply return so return the person name okay let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output okay so if i drag it above so this is accepted our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it to pass all the test cases so yeah this is accepted and this is how we do it so yes kind of a tricky question but if you know window functions this would be easier to do this question also highlights the use case of window function one of the use cases of window function but we can achieve the same result using a self join as well and we learned about how running total works and what running total actually means so yeah, this is how we do it let me know if there is a better way or more efficient way to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i will see you guys in the next video